After eight months of secrecy, tonight, a rare look inside the Georgia special grand jury charged with investigating whether former President Trump broke the law in trying to overturn his 2020 election loss in the state. What do you want people to know about this process and about your work? That really, really, when it came down to it, we were just people looking into something, and that's worth it. Emily Kors served as foreperson. She is limited in what she can share. A judge ordered deliberations must stay under wraps. But Kors confirms the jurors did recommend indictments against multiple people. It's not a short list. So we're talking about more than a dozen people? I would say that, yes. Are these recognizable names, names that people would know? There are certainly names that you would recognize, yes. She would not say whether that includes the former president, but did say this. I don't think that there are any giant plot twists coming. I don't think that there are any, like, giant... That's not the way I expected this to go at all. I, I don't think that's in store for anyone. The sections that were removed were consciously chosen to be removed, and I don't want to say I have better judgment than the judge. That's totally understandable. Is it, would you say, when it comes to, there are, indi there are indictments recommended, of course. Is it yes. more than 12 people? Is it more than 20 people? I think if you look at the page numbers of the report, there's about six pages in the middle that got cut out. Allow for spacing. It's not a short list. Not a short list. <laughs> more, I mean, when it comes to the name that everyone wants to know about is former President Trump. Of course. Did you recommend charges against Donald Trump? I really don't want to share something that the judge made a conscious decision not to share. I, I will tell you that it was a process where we heard his name a lot. Uh, we definitely heard a lot about former President Trump and we definitely discussed him a lot in the room. And I will say that uh, when this list comes out, you wouldn't, there are no major plot twists waiting for you. You know, it's, it's interesting. We, that just raises more questions of course. I know, of course. I know, I'm sorry. No, no, do, please do not apologize. I'm very appreciative of your time. When you say there's no plot twists and, you know, people won't be shocked, people are gonna, people are gonna hear that and they're gonna think that means that Donald Trump is definitely on that list. Um, I know it's delicate, but can you, can you speak to that? I can't. Well, I, I might be able to, according to instructions, but I don't want to. But in your view, people will not be surprised when they see the list of names to come out who you recommended to face indictment. Especially if they've been following the investigation. I, I can't see it being a shocker. You know, Donald Trump put out a statement. If what he was talking about was our statement where we indicated that there was no evidence of widespread fraud or widespread vote fraud in the Georgia 2020 election, that might have been what he meant. Other than that, I'm not positive what he meant by that. I'd, I'd be interested to know. I'm sure we will hear more from him after, um, <laughs> after it, all, uh, it all comes out. I don't think that there are any giant plot twists. There are no major plot twists waiting for you.